Hey guys, I am Wizarding World of Harry Potter YouTuber Victoria McLean and welcome to my <sighs> Screaming Mandrake channel. <laughs> I don't actually know if this thing screams. I have no idea. But I can tell you one thing. I have my earmuffs at the ready. So if you'd like to see this incredible mandrake from Bradford Exchange, then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring mandrakes to you, <laughs> then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the all important notification bell as well. Let's get started. So today, I do you know what, I'm going to say one thing to you, right, okay? The good thing about having different hair colour is that you can play about with your new eyeshadows. Look at the colour of this. I thought, do you know what, I'm going to do a, a herbology class um, reveal today. So greenhouse through second years. Uh, so I decided to use the green and yellow eyeshadow and I got a little, little turquoise rose in my hair as well just for you guys. Still not quite used to it yet. It's taking a while for me to get used to, but I am getting there. I'm waking up in the morning and, and I'm going into the bathroom half asleep going, Whoop! you know, who the hell is that person in the mirror? You know, I mean, my God, <laughs> it's me. It is me. So, okay, today I am using Mr. Profre Professor Snape's wand because I don't have Professor Sprouts. How bad is that? Shh, don't tell anyone. But I'm wearing this t-shirt from Geek Gear. No foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this gloss so I decided to put Snape's wand to the test today from Noble Collection it's such a beautiful and elegant wand isn't it I will put the link down below for you if you haven't got this wand and would like to get it yourself now before I continue um, I did have a question what is the best ones to get and I did answer this in my video uh, from ask me anything if you haven't seen that it's an hour of me I apologize or an hour and 12 12 minutes of me check out the link above because the ones in Noble Collection, you have three different types of ones. You've got the window box ones, you've got the normal Ollivander's box ones, and you've got the character ones. So those are the three different types of ones you can get. However, the wand inside is exactly the same. The cheapest one is the window box ones, which just comes in a lovely box displaying the character, and inside you can see the wand. Then you have the character ones, which is the second price up again, and that comes with a little gold tag to show you whose wand is whom's. Then you have the Ollivander style ones, which obviously you guys know is an Ollivander style box and it's beautifully displayed, but they are more expensive. So you can get this one for about £19 in the window box ones. So it's very, very much worth taking a look. Again, I will put the link down below for you. But as I always say, I'm going to put it back before I break it. So as I said, I have my lovely earmuffs at the ready because we have a box from Bradford Exchange. Now I only found out about this item, was it last week I had the email? And uh, I'm saying, because I know that my wonderful contact at Bradford Exchange will be watching this, and when she sent me the picture of this item, I said, Oh, that deserves a box, of an unboxing of its own because it looked incredible. Look at the size of the box! This is crazy! Absolutely crazy! I didn't expect it to be this size because I think the biggest mandrake you can get at the moment is Noble Collection, which as you take it out, it vibrates, shakes and screams at you. Um, I don't know what this one does, if it does anything. However, the look of it is incredibly realistic from the photos that I have been sent by Bradford Exchange. Again, all the details for this item will be down below for you so you won't miss out. Now, I have my trusty green knife to match everything else, even though this has always been green. Uh, so we are gonna get into it now. Right, it shows an arrow pointing that way. So I'm not quite sure because the opening is here, but I'm gonna open it here without stabbing anything, I hope. So it says Mandrake on the top by Ashton Drake. And obviously uh, in partnership with Bradford Exchange. Now the last time I had a beautiful Ashton Drake item sent to me, it was the Dobby with his little sock. Oh my life, he was adorable. So their items are so, so beautifully done. Right, so let's... 
okay so that's it it's in a box of its own so there we have right okay so let's try and get this out oh that was so easy that was very 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 easy oh i see what they mean now the box actually opens like that the same as the dobby collection the dobby item so uh, i'm gonna let you guys see it first i think it might be covered in tissue paper it is covered in tissue paper just wanted to double check i will open it without looking and i will show you apparently i'm genius at doing this because i always show you guys well in a, uh, uh, i show you properly so oh my gosh this is going to be difficult but i'm gonna do it john i'm yapping a lot today i don't i think it's because i'm tired so we have a similar look to the way dobby was displayed oh my god i can't wait to get into this now look at that right so let's have a look let's have a look <gasps> oh my god this is so cool so we have a very important certificate of authenticity mandrake is a collector's edition portrait figure and is issued exclusively by ashton drake upon the retirement of this issue no more of this edition of mandrake will ever be produced once the edition is retired it will never be reopened so you know that this is a one-off so if you want an item that you know is going to look beautiful and is going to be retired then you should get this mandrake so i'm going to pop oh my god i just saw that picture that's wicked <laughs> oh my god it looks so realistic because it's so they're so ugly aren't they right so these come out I'm so excited! Again, thank you so much to Bradford Exchange in the US for sending me this item. Okay, I think. Oh, right, it comes apart. Oh my god, this thing's huge! Okay, so nothing else is there. Right, okay, so he comes apart. So he's got little add ons, right? He's had a haircut for travel, but he's got extensions, alright? So let's. Oh my god, he's so cute! He's so adorable. Okay, so I'm taking him out. So I don't think he does anything. Um, but you know what? I don't think it matters because he is so ugly and brilliant. All right, are you ready? Now, I haven't added any of his leaves yet. <laughs> Look at the face on that. Look at his little bunum. Oh, my God, he's so adorable. <laughs> he looks so realistic. Oh, my God, his eyes look like he's looking at me. That is the freakiest thing ever. Is it because you've lost your hair? Okay, so I will do this for you now, but you've got to promise not to scream. Okay, just just be nice, all right? I must admit, when I've seen their Ashton, their, uh, their, their Ashton Drake, because they do like a re replica like looking babies and things, they are so realistic. Right, I'm not 100% sure how. Right, it shows that they're oh right yeah okay so i think this may be the smaller one no are they all the same no are they all the same size okay i think they're all the same size right okay i miss my table i need to find somewhere for my lego i miss my table okay so i've got all the leaves out so we're gonna we're gonna dress him now so he doesn't feel so naked okay so where's the picture What's the, where, where where is the let's have a look at how he looks in his picture in his portrait picture okay that is shippish that's really easy to do okay so so we need to pop that one like that to be fair they go in incredibly easily okay and then like that and then next one wow that was easy and then this one i think that needs to go over a little bit more wow oh my god i love him i love him so much okay i've taken his tag off so it's a little ashton drake tag collector's edition portrait figure uh, issued exclusively by Ashton Drake so that's his little tag 
so which says mandrake on it so remember what i said about all the packaging especially if this is an item that possibly will be retired which it states in the certificate of authenticity that it will be retired so you can put he's posable he's posable oh my god look at this he's oh my god his bum looks like he's wearing a little nappy <laughs> I suppose he can fertilise his, his own soil, can't he? Using it as a toilet. Oh, look at that. Look how amazing that is. Right, so we've got the we've got the um the plant pot. Okay, so oh my god, he's adorable. Ready? Oh you got to stand you gotta stand him up? Is that what it's Yeah, you got I think you've got to stand it or you can just do it now, look, you've got to stand him up. So he can he is posable put him on the side of the plant pot like that oh my god look at that mandrake how gorgeous is that i love him oh my god he is so gorgeous please don't take this the wrong way but i think i love him more than dobby i know you're probably all screaming at me right now but i really love him more than dobby he is adorable right so we're going to show you a close-up of his body so here we have the mandrake so at the moment obviously his leaves are shadowing from the light that i've got but look at those eyes look how realistic he looks how crazy is that so he is poseable so you can have him stood outside his bot uh, his t um tub if you wish but i think he'd be far cuter inside his little plant pot but how adorable is that? So the way he's been made looks so fantastic because you have these realistic kind of wrinkles like he is actually, let me move his head, no, like he is actually kind of made from the earth, you know, he's a proper root sort of thing. And his hands, they just remind me of Groot. I am Groot. Look at that. Isn't that just so adorable? He's not screaming at me, so he must be quite comfortable. Either that or he is asleep with his eyes open, I don't know. But look at his feet. Look at those feet. Aren't they crazy? And when I mentioned he looked like he had a nappy on, look at the way his bum's positioned. He looks like he's already got his little nappy on. But as I said, he'd probably fertilise his own, his own soil, so, you know, he won't need a nappy. But look at that. And these leaves look so realistic. Look at them. They're so brilliant. I've got to be honest with you. Yes, I have had this item for free, but this is probably the best mandrake I have ever ever seen uh, best replica i've ever seen because i've seen the one in the studios up close and personal like so many people who have visited the studios have and i think he is fantastic he's a smaller version than the one from the studio but the way he looks is so realistic and he looks so grumpy and i just love that because obviously he's a baby mandrake he's been pulled out of his plant pot he's not very happy with me but i have dressed him in leaves so i wonder if that's why he's not screaming at me but I have to say, Ashton Drake and Bradford Exchange, you have done a spectacular job of this mandrake. He is adorable. And I am going to be incredibly proud to display him in my collection. So I absolutely love him. He is so adorable. I cannot get over those eyes. They, they look so real. The iris and everything just looks so real. It's so creepy. I feel like he would just start looking at me any minute, you know. But he is just beautiful. I love the fact that he has these really kind of root-like hands and feet. It's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. These are actually based on real plants. I can't remember the name of them, but there was a picture of me in Tesco's holding one uh, because they were being sold at Tesco's. They were only cheap. I need to get one really because they look like mandrakes. They're all twisted. If you go to Ikea, you can get really big ones. Uh, but these, they, they are kind of, the way the, the way that the, uh, the roots go up, they are exactly like this, this pattern. So you can see it there, the kind of twisting, almost like his hat is bound, you know, and you've got like an, a wood knot there as well. It's just so beautifully done. This is so fantastic. And the way it kind of goes up at the back of the head as well to kind of 
blend into these these um, extensions of his head they're just fantastic it's just so beautifully made I am incredibly incredibly impressed Bradford Exchange so I would absolutely love to hear what you think of this mandrake he is just I he is one of the best things I have been sent from Bradford Exchange this and the calendar the at uh, the um the movable calendar the I can never remember how you pronounce it, how you say it. But if you haven't seen that, then check out the link above because that's beautiful. But these are definitely, this is definitely one of my two favourite items I have ever been sent from Bradford Exchange. He is abs just absolutely out of this world. I love him so much. Now, the tricky part for me is where am I going to put him? Because he has to be displayed. I cannot not display him. He is perfect. I absolutely love him. <laughs> what did you think of this item until next time take care i love you all and i will speak to you very very soon my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe